I feel like it's been a while since we mixed up some sourdough bread together. So I'm going to do that today. But I'm gonna show you one tip that I've been doing that's been helping with my fermentation process. So stick around for that. Start off with 350 grams of water. I do warm this up a little bit, just around 80 degrees. Next, I'm going to add my sourdough starter. I fed this this morning at like eight o'clock. It's noon now, so it's been four hours and it is ready to use. And I'm using 100 grams of this. And then go ahead and mix this together. Next, I'm going to add 500 grams of bread flour and then 10 grams of salt. And then go ahead and start mixing this together. Once it starts to come together, you're gonna go ahead and knead this for like three to five minutes until it's well incorporated. And you'll have just like a shaggy dough. Now that I have this incorporated, I just like to take my scraper and scrape down the sides of my bowl just to make sure it's all mixed in. Now that I have this all incorporated, the biggest change that I've done with my fermentation process is take the temperature of my dough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this and this temperature, I base it off of the sourdough journey um, temperature chart. I'll link him below. And I just go by his times of how long it takes for fermentation. And honestly, it's been basically spot on for the last like four months I've been doing this. So my dough is 82 degrees. And then I'll just take a temperature every time I do a stretch and fold. So I'll do another, I'll come back in 30 minutes and do my first round of stretch and fold. And then I'll do a three rounds of those 30 minutes apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover this and let it rest. So I'm gonna do my first round of stretch and fold and I already went ahead and wet my hands. And what I do is I just grab the dough, stretch it up and fold it in. And you're going to do this clear around the bowl. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the temperature of my dough and you will notice that the temperature of your dough will come down every time you do a stretch and fold. So I'll go ahead and cover this and then come back and do round two of my stretch and folds in 30 minutes. So we are on round two of our stretch and folds. Again, I go ahead and wash and wet my hands, and then I'm just going to stretch up, fold in, and do this clear around the bowl again. And then before I cover it, I'm gonna go ahead and take the temperature again. And it's just come down a little bit again. So I'll cover, let this rest for another 30 minutes, and come back and do the final round of stretch and folds. We are on our last round of stretch and folds. So again, take your dough, stretch it up, fold it in. So by the temperature of my dough, my total fermentation time is going to be around five hours. So at five hours is when I'm gonna check my dough and see if it's ready to shape. And I will show you some things that I do at that time to tell me if it really is ready. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and just check the temperature of my dough again. And then I will let this sit for a couple of hours now and come back and shape it. It's been a little over five hours, but I feel like my dough is ready to shape. And one other way I can tell if it's ready to shape is when you touch your dough and if it doesn't stick to your fingers, that means it's ready. So let's go ahead and shape this dough. I'm gonna sprinkle just a tiny bit of flour on my counter and then we will get this dough out on top of this. You'll notice that your bowl will come pretty clean too when it's ready to shape. So first thing I'm gonna do is just pull this in to a rectangle and then I'm gonna fold it into thirds. And then start at one end and roll it up. And then go ahead and finish shaping it. And then I add a little bit of flour to my banneton and then I'll add a little on top of my dough Grab your scraper to get your dough off and then place it in your banneton. And then I will cover this and I'm going to place it in my fridge overnight and I will cook it in the morning. It's the next day and we're gonna go ahead and cook our sourdough today. So I've already went ahead and preheated my oven to 450 degrees with my Dutch oven inside it. Yes, I'm making sourdough bread. Okay, so like I was saying, go ahead and preheat your oven to 450 degrees with your Dutch oven inside it. I'm gonna go ahead and score my dough. You wanna make sure you have at least one deep cut and then you can do any kind of design that you want on it. Go ahead and get your Dutch oven out and then place your dough inside it. Place your lid back on. I'm gonna cook this for 
30 minutes at 450 degrees covered, and then I'll remove the lid and cook it for another 10 to 15 minutes uncovered. And there we go, it is all done. I will go ahead and put the recipe in the description below and then follow me for more sourdough recipes.